you must have heard or maybe it has happened to you that at some point the data that you had on your mobile phone was lost maybe uh, you formatted your phone maybe your child deleted it maybe you lost your phone or maybe something just happened to your data maybe your memory card even got uh, bad and all of a sudden documents photos and all the things that you have worked so hard to gather on your mobile phone they are lost in just a moment but what if i could tell you today that there is a way that you can guard your data online that even if something happens to the data that you already have on your mobile phone you will still have a way out way out in this video web design and development for businesses and organizations so let's get right in so to get started uh, navigate through your phone to your apps and you look for an app called Google Drive you can just uh, swipe through your phone and you will find an app there called uh, Google Drive uh, here is the app here this app is called Drive so or you have to open the app called drive and once the app is open you're going to find a, a screen that looks uh, something just like this so at this point there are several things that you can do if you I swipe to this direction that's to the right you see I have uh, several setting options but you can look at that on your own uh, one of the, the most important things I want to show you here is how to uh, upload your files to this drive and before we just uh, move move uh, ahead i want to explain what we mean by drive drive is an online storage that is provided by the company uh, google so you can store your files you can store your photos videos documents and just almost any type of media that you can think on your Google Drive and you have 15 gigabyte for free so you can store so many photos videos and documents online and all you just need is to be locked into your phone uh, with a Google account and with this in place you can start uh, uh, you can start uploading your files uploading your videos and so on so with that said I'll just show you how you are going to while in Google Drive you're going to upload a file you're going to uh, upload your documents and so on so let's look at that right now so to, to do that you know it's uh, you click on this plus icon here so and it's uh, very important that you keep your files uh, organized so you have to can create it in folders so you click on here on folders just to organize your files to keep it so let's put this uh, my photos photos and then I click on create so now I've created a folder my photos and inside is my photos when I tap and open I can add more folders like maybe there was an occasion a graduation a wedding and so on you can add uh, several photos depending on what it, it's talking about so you can create inner folders but I'm just in photos uh, here photos so you can now tap on this tier on this plus icon we want now want to upload a photo to our drive so you can click on upload and it will take you to your recent photos that are in your phone but actually we it will be a good idea maybe some photos are not recent to go to your main gallery so uh I have uh, several uh, several gallery apps here so I can use a quick pick that I have here when I tap to open that it opens uh, my gallery it has opened my photos if we're on the main screen you open several things and now it has opened let me open the camera folder and have several images uh, this app actually permits me just like some of your apps that you may have to upload one photo so if I tap on any photo you see it's going to 
depending on my network speed, it's going to rapidly upload that to your cloud. And now your photo is in your cloud, it will be there. If you change your phone and just log into the same Google account, you have this photo there. You can even use other people's phones or your internet browser to access it. Now, uh, this may be a kind of tedious thing if you have like a hundred photos to tap them one by one. So there's an app uh, still from Google. So you tap here, let's upload more using an app called Google Photos. So you tap here and on upload. And at that point, let's swipe to the right again to see the options. And we can select now our on these photos. This is actually with this icon, you select on these photos and it's actually an app uh, that is uh, provided by uh, Google. So with this, let's tap on camera. And so here you can actually select as many photos as you like. You can just select anyone that you want to keep. And once you are satisfied with the ones that you've selected, you can now uh, tap here on the top of the top of your screen on done. So these photos are going to all be uploaded uh, to your Google Drive uh, storage or folder. Now, now our photos have all been uploaded to our drive and they are there. You can access them from any device and that is it. So I'll show you how to, you just tap back, how to, if there are documents, let me see, you can create another folder called uh, My Docs. And then you click on create so at this point you can also tap here and then you 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 can now upload your documents by tapping on the plus and then on upload as well as uh, you can now tap on your SD card or your internal storage here if I tap on the internal storage that many people have you can have several files that you can now choose if where your documents are and then you also do as the photos tap and then you upload them there so <clears throat> in that case you can upload almost you can upload all the important things that you have in your phone uh, that will really matter to you to keep so that at any point in time if you change phones uh, your photos get deleted or whatever you see have them you still have your documents and your important stuff right there in drive uh, in all circumstances and in all situations so uh, there's another way you can also upload your photos let me say you go to your go, uh, memory card or your internal storage or in your camera or uh, gallery in your phone's gallery you can also from there select your photos and choose the share button and the drive google drive will also show you options to upload so that was it with google drive your files your documents are saved i hope this helps you and in case you need just any other type of videos that you would like to see just leave a comment and which kind of tutorial you want to see to help you uh, maximize your phone or your digital devices so thank you very much for watching you may please share this share this and uh, see you in the next one